Hey everybody, just back with another video. Uh, Abacus Data has actually just released a new poll and some of the information is definitely interesting. Uh, but before we get into that, I do just want to remind you guys to please like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, it does really help my growth and I appreciate every single one of you who, um, who does that. And also, whatever your thoughts are, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section because I do really enjoy uh, engaging with you guys as well. So it looks like the Conservatives have gained a, they now have a 21 point lead over the Liberals. So there's been a bunch of polls coming out recently, those saying that the, the Conservatives are going to get, you know, 45 or, you know, 46. Now they have them at 43, but the interesting part is that the Liberals have actually dropped down to 22%. Now I have predicted multiple times that the actual Liberal number, their actual amount of votes that they get is going to be around 20%, maybe even a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, 22%, that's that's as low as it's been in a very long time. Uh, the NDP, no change, 18%. Even though Jugmeet Singh, you know, he you know, ripped up his agreement with Justin Trudeau, which I think he thought was going to help him in the polls. Well, no change. The other three parties, also no change, 8% for the Bloc, 5 for the Greens, and 3 for the Peoples. Um, so 21-point lead for Pierre Polyev over Justin Trudeau. So I think that's, uh, you know, if you're an actual... Uh, Canadian patriot, this is good news for you. So the other thing I wanted to show here as well was the committed vote intention by province. So again, you know, the, the middle of, of Canada, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, yeah, they're going to be conservative, of course, but look at Ontario, 46%, 25 for the Liberals. Atlantic Canada, which is usually pretty liberal, 48% to 31%. So, I mean, Justin Trudeau is just getting spanked all across the board here. Now, again, he might, I don't think he's going to resign. I hope he doesn't. I hope he just burns that party to the ground and they get as few seats as possible because that's what they deserve, right? It's kind of like the American election. I'm not necessarily a huge Trump fan and I'm not necessarily a huge Pierre Polyev fan. However, the liberals and the Democrats deserve to lose. They deserve to get punched in the mouth, metaphorically speaking, for what they've done. And it looks like, I mean, I don't know about the United States, it looks like it's going to be a lot closer there. But in Canada, it's its not even going to be close. I mean, Pierre Polyev is just running away with this thing. I can't even imagine, you know, what he would have to do to mess this thing up. And even if Trudeau does resign and Mark Carney comes in, I just don't see that making any real change for them. Maybe they'll get a bit of an upswing temporarily. But then, you know, the Canadian people are just going to realize, oh, he's just the same as Trudeau. I mean, everyone in that Liberal Party is pretty much the same as Justin Trudeau. Uh, the other thing, too, is the federal vote intention by age. 18 to 29, generally a very liberal group, 39% conservative. Everyone else, 44%, 45%, 40, like the Liberals and the NDP are losing in every single category. By province, well, except for Quebec, but again, who cares about Quebec? But they're losing by province. They're losing by every age group. They're losing. I mean, even if you go down here to the, like the federal vote intention by gender, even female, 37% to 23%. Yeah, the female vote would go to the left if the vote wasn't split. But that being said, it doesn't really you know matter too much because when you look at the, like, the males, so it's at almost 50%. Right? So, I mean... But at the end, it's it's very close too because you look at the male, the twenty one percent for the liberals and twenty three for the uh, for the females, right? Women, no offense to women, but do women generally vote more liberal. Well, you can you can say that well they're actually getting forty something or forty five percent of the vote because the NDP is also on the left, but since that vote is split, it doesn't matter. And 37% for the conservatives is definitely good news for Pierre Polyev. So, seems like these liberal leaders are just getting that much more unlikable, which again, they deserve it. It's good news. We will still have to likely wait well, at least six months or so for an election, maybe even a year, but it's coming. The, the clock's ticking, right? The cal Every day that passes is another day closer to the election, closer that we actually get some real change. We can get rid of these taxes, build some homes, make Canada safe again, and we can do all these good things. There's a lot of other issues I have with Pierre Polyev. That's for a whole nother video. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this information. I know it's not like that shocking, but I thought that's why. Well, I mean, the Atlantic Canada going conservative is pretty shocking to me. But let me know what you guys think. If you have any, 
you know, suggestions for future videos uh, and let me know what your general comments are. Also, again, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it does really help this channel. Thanks again so much. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.